the Kaneko Kitten situation gets much worse. A Roblox predator gets arrested on stream. Ruben Sim does Roblox moderation for them once again. And much, much more to cover. So make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you are new. And watch until the end because this video gets absolutely crazy. So first story comes in with the Kaneko Kitten situation getting much, much worse. Yeah. Because recently, due to all the controversy transpiring, Kaneko Kitten basically hit his channel. And he was even removed entirely off of Roblox Arsenal. The Kaneko Kitten Cola was removed. Removed, his face picture was removed from the game, even his voice announcer, all completely gone, proving that most people want nothing to do with him anymore. And the next situation comes from the developers of Vibrant Ventures for alleged association with Kaneko Kin. Because basically what happened is a Twitter user made a viral tweet stating, if I had a nickel for every time a Roblox developer made a Steam game and had their lives turn out better, showing unturned and lethal company, just to name a few examples. And then someone else replies under them, you forgot about Vibrant Venture, then someone else states under them, this game was mostly funded by Kaneko Kitten, and then they put in brackets, a now pedophile, and someone else states, Welp, still waiting for the team's apologies for working with a pedophile. This was then followed by the person stating how Kaneko Kitten apparently funded 50% of the game's revenue, and then apparently due to all the controversy that transpired after this, the developer of the actual game, Vibrant Venture, comes out basically stating, regarding Kaneko Kitten's donation to the Vibrant Venture, Kickstarter and all recent allegations of his involvement in the project, where they basically state how this was three years ago back in 2020, and they were completely unaware of Kaneko Kin's horrific actions behind the scenes, as basically most of us were, and that he never basically worked on the game, and they couldn't have really stopped him from donating if he wanted to. So pretty much this was just another case of Twitter blaming someone for the bad actions of someone else, and the developer of Vibrant Venture had nothing to do or was any way complicit with Kaneko Kin's degenerate in any situation. And also, another topic to bring up is how Kaneko Kin is literally going viral on Reddit for literally being a horrible human being. There's a lot of meme posts on him recently, and it's just crazy to see all the traction this entire situation's getting at. And the final situation to cover is how recently Naku, also known as Miskeepings, who is another victim of Kaneko Kin, comes out to update everyone about their response video that will cover the other vile things Kaneko did to them by stating, Howdy, just wanted to let you all know that I'm alright and I'm still going to be talking about everything. I just had a lot going on and I apologize for taking so long to get it out there, but there is a lot to talk about and share. Stay tuned and thank you for your support. So basically the reason why it's taking much longer to produce this video, but is because there are thousands and thousands of messages to allegedly go over, but I can confirm that the situation from behind the scenes sounds absolutely horrible and it sounds absolutely disgusting and Kaneko Kin has a lot to answer for. Because keep in mind when Cassidus even confronted Kaneko Kin about it on YouTube under one of his now deleted YouTube videos. Kaneko Kin even stated how he screwed up majorly for it in this thread I'm showing. So it clearly seems that he's severely regretful for what happened and all will be basically revealed soon. So keep in tune because I'm definitely making a video on this situation. But anyway, next massive drama news to cover is how me, Nift, and Omar all watched the downfall of a predator who was 19 years old called Kiggy Pucks and he basically preyed on a 15 year old in the Roblox community. The 15 year old victim being called Cupid Missy. And everyone came to know the situation basically after she made an apology on how she blamed herself for the situation, which shouldn't have been the case whatsoever. The responsibility should lie entirely on the adult who engaged in this and didn't break it off and it isn't her fault at all. This 19 year old basically said really vile and degenerate things to this 15 year old in detail and they're considerably younger than him and it should have never transpired whatsoever. And basically, he believed he could get away with this entire situation. He basically said stuff like, I'd think you all night if you were fine with me. And you approached more and sit on my lap and kissed more with a squeezing hug. I felt your watermelons wrap around my neck and it made me go even crazier. I felt something really warm on my lap and it was you in heat. Everything felt real and I started crying and hug you because everything felt so real. You can talk about it and then states in another message, I'm your horny boy. It just feels so horrible that this person, this 15 year old victim, felt the need to apologize for this situation when it's not their fault at all. This person should literally be behind bars and that brings me on to the next thing. Now due to the actions of Omar and Nift who were literally trying to seek justice for this 15 year old, they actually eventually got this guy called Kiki Parks to a Discord voice chat on Nift's server and got himself to literally go over to the police office and admit his crimes which is some of the craziest stuff I've ever seen. A major respect to Omar and Nift for this and I was even there on the Discord call witnessing him literally going to the police station. Here's a clip of him literally turning himself in. 
Joanne. Joanne? I'm literally here. All right. It looks like a house. How is this a fucking house? This is really good. Don't fucking be smart with me. Right? Hey, Joanne. 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 Hey, if I don't inform you in like four hours, know that I am in like in jail or something, okay? Yeah, okay. Alright. I'll call the confirm. But anyway, hopefully this guy is literally behind bars or off the internet now because he is literally a threat to children. Now, next topic comes after the controversial YouTuber who reacts to certain unusual things, XQC, was terminated off of YouTube. And you now may be wondering, hey, Paulo, how does this uh, relate to Roblox and Roblox drama? Well, the YouTube termers who have been an actual big talking point for the last few months have been behind many YouTubers' terminations, such as Rebooted Poppy, Clown Jiao, and now they actually claim that they were the reason behind his termination, XQC's, by showing XQC's channel in their Telegram, showing that someone had requested for them to basically mass report the channel. And in their Telegram, they also state, we've just terminated XQC via copyright if you don't believe us. And this is pretty big news if it's true, because it's actually getting really popular on Twitter right now. But however, there's no proof that they actually did it, and it could just be one big great fat lie, because Enzo has had a long history of lies in his past, especially regarding me so this might just be one big joke or something however if they were responsible that's pretty crazy how they managed to like somehow wipe xqc's biggest youtube channel off the entire platform now the final story comes from ruben sim once again and i know this is even crazy to say because it's totally never happened before but he is once again doing roblox's moderation job for them but basically he has literally waged a war against these degenerate groups on the platform that i will cover later in a video because there's just so much to cover but basically these groups are where people try and get in contact with others mainly basically just used by predators and these people use roblox accounts to try and access children by stating add me to trade and other extremely inappropriate things and basically what he did recently is he linked a bunch of these offending accounts and some of these were removed from roblox however certain accounts such as i love bbc hmm i wonder what that means apparently remain up which is very peculiar but yes these groups are extremely degenerate and i will definitely cover them in another video because ruben sim has basically highlighted a major issue here but anyway thank you all for watching if you did enjoy make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new and make sure to comment joe if you made it this far and obviously this video is not intended for hate harassment cyberbullying or anything like that this is just an educational video going over the entire situation as a whole and make sure to watch my other videos too goodbye would like to give some recognition to my main to my main man parlo